Hello and welcome back people. My name is Reza Afshar, this is Chris Bridgen. Big welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining the channel. Um, just want to quickly say that we are not predicting the actual day that Jesus returns. That's really important. But what we are showing you is the signs of the end times. And today's video is about the prophecy that scripture has told us way in advance about the death of the animals. And we're going to talk about the signs, mm. what's happening today, right now. So it's a now video. So today we're looking at the mass animal deaths for August 2016. And the reason being, the Bible foretells that the animals will die. Now, we've been covering this subject for some time. In fact, we put together a compilation covering the mass animal deaths from 2008 to 2015. And we also cover this subject monthly. On top of that, the WWF, the World Wildlife Fund, says from 1970 to 2010, 52% of the animals have died off. So without a shadow of a doubt, we believe that scripture is being fulfilled. And this is Zephaniah chapter one, verses two and three. And it reads, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. Now the fish of the sea is what we are mainly focusing on today. And you will see from the many headlines and video footage that the weather is predominantly killing the fish, not man. So we are seeing this prophecy come to pass. We don't know exactly when it will be fulfilled, but we believe it has definitely, definitely begun. Mm -hmm. We're definitely so, in that, so yeah. yeah, so let's begin with the first headline. Okay, 1st of August, Texas, US. Uh, marine life suffers mass die-off 100 miles off Galveston coast. Uh, and it says unprecedented mass mortality event is taking place. Months of heavy rainfall in the region could be sucking oxygen from the water, so it's weather related. 2nd of August, India. 250 animals perish in Kazaranga floods. Uh, 21 horned rhinos die. 3rd of August, Indonesia, 20 tons of dead fish, heavy rain and the growth of hyacinth that cover the reservoir led to low oxygen. So again, it's, it's the weather. 4th of August, Peru, more than 18,000 cattle have died due to low temperatures in the Aquipa region. 6th of August, we've got a video for this. Massive fish kill in the waters of Santa Marta, Colombia. Uh, heavy rain resulted in low oxygen levels killing the fish. Eighth of August, Ukraine. Again, we've got another video for this. 10,000 dead fish pile up on Marlon stretch of coastline after suffocating in soaring water temperatures. Fifteenth of August, China. In two days, twelve and a half tons of fish have died, and a storm appears to be the cause of fish deaths. Twentieth of August, Yellowstone, U.S. Uh, reads: Unprecedented, deadly parasite kills thousands of fish, prompts Yellowstone River closure. Twenty-second of August, thousands of dead fish in Pamlico River. It's likely some of the algae bloom last week is dying off, causing low oxygen in the river. 23rd of August, Kingsburg, New Jersey. Again, we've got another video for this. This is amazing. Massive fish kill estimated from hundreds of thousands to more than a million. It seems the fish kill came from low oxygen levels. Um, guys, I, if you are new to the channel, a few videos back, we were talking about Harp, CERN and Fukushima. And I just, we just know that every video, people scream at us and say, oh, it's Harp, it's Fukushima, it's CERN. And we, we, we have to keep repeating this because of the, the, the massive increase of subscribers and new viewers that we have. This downward trend begun before Harp was built, before Fukushima happened and before the CERN experiment, guys. You really have to know that. Mm. So we want you to focus on God, 
God's word and the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want you to ask the Holy Spirit into your life to actually understand what is going on, especially if you're a Christian, guys, because we're talking about prophetic warning signs of God. So we're showing you all these headlines and they're not very good and not very nice, but it's a, it's a warning, an alarm bell, a siren going off that is pointing to, um, you know, the return of the Lord Jesus Christ when mm. we don't know. So, so, so this is serious, guys. Mm. Yeah, this yeah, very serious. serious. Guys. Yeah, really yeah. serious. So mm. really, you know. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's uh, continue. 25th of August, Indonesia. Uh, mass poisoning of hundreds of tons of fish. Hundreds of tons. And although it says poisoning, it was natural uh, because violent wind gusts stirred up sediments from the bottom of the lake, contaminated the lake, killing the fish. Uh, 30th August, Indonesia. Same thing as the last headline. Violent winds killed tons of fish, and this time in a different part of Indonesia. 26th of August, Brazil. Another video for this. Lack of oxygen in river causes death of fish. This is like everywhere around the whole world. It is around it? the whole This world, is not yeah. just like isolated areas, people. No. You know, like the scripture is saying that he'll consume, you know, the fish. Like, it's not just like America. This is everywhere. This is the whole world. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's all think, over. think about it, mm. you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. For, it's salt water and fresh water, isn't it? Yes. It's, it's everything. Yeah. Um, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 26th of August, New York, US. A uh, biologist says high temperatures uh, may have caused mussel die-off, and thousands of blue mussels appear along the shoreline, shoreline in Jamesport. Uh, 27th of August, Oregon, US. Again, other side of the United States this time. Thousands of dead fish seen in Portland Harbour. And the harbour master said this is the first time he's seen this in eight or nine years. Okay, over to Norway now. This is a different sort of story. This is about lightning. Uh, this was the 29th of August, and they've got a video for this. Uh, freak lightning storm kills 323 reindeer in Norway. And a spokesman for Norway's Nature Surveillance Agency said, we have never seen anything like this with lightning. Oh. <laughs> Twenty ninth of August, Vietnam, again over the other side of the world. Fish die off in river. Thirty five thousand fish died. Again, lack of oxygen caused the deaths. And finally, Canada. Thirtieth of August, fish kill at Stony Lake. Thousands of dead fish have washed up along the shores. The cause is likely blue green algae, according to fisheries biologists. So again, it's natural. Uh, it's weather related. Now, if you follow our channel, you will know that we have seen record flooding, record droughts and record heat, all of which play their part in killing the fish and it's not stopping, it's getting worse. Now a couple of weeks ago, figures were released showing us that August ties with July as the hottest month on record in the last 136 years. On top of that, 2016 is set to be the hottest year on record, bearing in mind 2001 to 2015 were the 15 hottest years on record for the last 136 years. And this is why so many fish are continually dying off. And another headline further backs this up by saying, global warming, making oceans sick, scientists warm. So we can expect to see more and more of these animal deaths. Mm. So why is it happening? Well, we said at the beginning, uh, scripture, we believe the reason why this is happening is because it's a judgment from God. Man is turning from God. Man is not coming to the Lord Jesus and repenting of the things they have done wrong. Instead, man is getting more and more sinful. Take the fish deaths as a forewarning of what is to come because God also warns us in that scripture I read earlier that man will also be cut off from the land. He says in Zephaniah 1, listen to this really carefully. He says, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea. So we're seeing that. And the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man 
from off the land. Mm. So take the fish deaths as a forewarning of God also cutting off man from off the land. Mm. And if we don't repent, then we won't be saved. Yeah, we were talking about in the last video, in the book of Revelation, even the book of Revelation talks about how scarce man's going to be. Because yeah. it's going to, you know, refine us, refine man. and Refine like, yeah. And, it's yeah it's, scarcer than gold, I think the scripture said. Man will be refined, you know. Um, and mm. yeah, he's, he's going to do it, you know. And, and so we need to take all of this seriously. Because mm. uh, he's given us warning signs and if we ignore those, then, then unfortunately we will be one of those that's cut off. Yeah, yeah. And we're not talking about like, we're not like climate change and we're not saying, oh, it's because of CO2. We're not really focused on what the cause really is. We're kind of really focused on that it is actually, we're looking at the evidence of it happening and God's word saying that it is mm. going to happen and it is happening. So we're in that, like Chris was saying, we're in that season now of, of judgment and warning. Mm. And um, we, guys, we have to take that really, really seriously. Um, and, and, and the ultimate message is repent and come to the Lord Jesus, isn't it really? Mm. Before it's too late, I mm. suppose. And that, you know, that is a strong warning, isn't it? It is, I think that's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Repentance, you know, because these things wouldn't be happening if the world was repenting, mm. that they wouldn't be happening. But, yeah. but um, it's, it's discipline and his punishment with, but with, but in a righteous, just way. Yeah. Um, no different from what you would, you can't walk around in society, break the law, not expect to be arrested and stuck in jail for your crimes. You know, it's the same principle. You can't expect to continually turn from God, break his laws and expect nothing to happen. Yeah. You know, it's not going to happen. So um, mm. just please look into it. Yeah. And look, in, look at our videos. Look at the last series as well. Have a mm. look. And uh, we explain judgment and we explain what's going on um, bit by bit in each video. Yeah. So, so, so do have a look. Yeah. So. I just thought I'd grab my laptop. I just want to say a big shout out to Jane Oliver. Uh, the group is called The Good Shepherd. She's basically saying that um, someone uh, that's new to the group has introduced our videos and um, they're using our videos for their group, which mm, is really good. Great, so yeah. I Excellent. just wanted to give mm. you a big shout out. Yeah, use our videos. They are teaching videos. Um, you know, ha have a look. Great mm. discussion points. Yeah, big shout out to you. Um, have a look at our Facebook page. It's, it's, it's exploding, to be honest. It's mm. going really mm. well. Um, um, if you've got any artwork that's really good, then send it to us because we may be able to use it for mm. the, mm. you know, for, yeah, yeah, do for, that, yeah. for that channel. Yeah. So, so, so please do that. Um, yeah, and uh, guys, as always, please like the video um, and share it with others. That'd be fantastic. Mm. And. Um, yeah, it's just the support's been brilliant, mm. I think. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all so much for, for your continued support and in sharing all of this stuff. It really does help uh, more than you probably uh, realise. And it, uh, if you share one of our videos and you, 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 you like what we do, you're pointing people to the Lord Jesus. So um, think about that. Um, so, yeah, you are playing a part in leading people to salvation yeah so um you may not you may be uncomfortable evangelizing with your mouth but you can evangelize by sharing the videos or mm. sharing any video yeah. that points yeah. to jesus not just ours but anything that points to, to the lord, yeah, yeah to the lord we've got mm. audio bibles as well guys have a look at them maybe share the audio bibles with your friends or on facebook or whatever mm. people watch them and people do get in touch with us and they you know they do give their lives to the lord and they are drawing closer to the lord jesus and that is without sharing and likes then forget it we can't mm. There is no channel, you know, mm. I, it's with everyone's help, it's combined effort. Mm. So what you're doing is brilliant. Yeah. It's really work. Excellent. So, all right, well, we'll cut it there. Um, we've got another video coming up next week and uh, have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. The Lord Jesus wants you to come to him just as you are. He wants you to come to him no matter what you have done in your life, no matter what mistakes you have made. He is kind understanding and always forgiving. He cares very much about each one of us. Maybe you are unsure if you really have given your heart fully to the Lord Jesus. Maybe you would like to say yes to him for the very first time. Or maybe you would like to recommit your life to the Lord Jesus and start afresh today. The Bible says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. The Bible also says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart 
that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you'd like to hand your life to the Lord Jesus and put your hope and trust in him, then please repeat this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please hear my prayer. I know you gave your life for me and I know that you are alive today. Please forgive my sins. Come into my heart and make your home with me. Thank you for being my Lord and Saviour. Amen.